Hi guys, it's Bell Racer 2. Zero, zero, zero. And if you haven't noticed this mess yet, um, you might want to get your eyes checked. Um, because this is what I deal with every single morning. Um, and I really cannot see you guys right now. But my glasses are crooked. Whoop. But this is what I deal with. Um, I stayed up pretty late last night. I stayed up until like four, um, editing a video, and it didn't even process. It deleted itself, so I'm pretty mad right now. Um, it's three in the afternoon, um, and I just woke up. This won't be the best quality video, but you know what? It's a video because I took a week off and. You know, <laughs> the reason I'm making this video is because I've gotten a lot of kick messages and like Insta DM and all that jazz and YouTube messages. And if you want my kick and stuff, that's on my Instagram, I think. So, um, <clears throat> whew. um, yeah. So I do my hair for you guys every single video. This is what I wake up to. It's a real hassle during the school year. But I live with it because it actually comes out pretty easy. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of you guys have been asking me on all my social stuff how I do my hair for the barn. A lot of the girls have. And and I figured I would show you what it looks like and how to do it. Yeah, I really don't do anything that fancy. I just kind of work with what I got. Um, but yeah, I won't be doing my complicated stuff because I would make this video like 30 minutes long because that's about how long it takes me to do my hair every single day when I go to the barn. So. Which will now be four times a week because I'm now leasing Dixie, so this will be the hassle four times a week. <sighs> Let's get this thing over with because the monster is getting angry. So if you haven't noticed this, you might want to get your eyes checked. So I'll just try to brush this out. See, it comes out pretty easy. My hair really doesn't get knotted unless it gets like stuck on Velcro or something like it has before and I got a dreadlock in the back of my head from that and I had to chop some of my hair off and that really wasn't fun. And I know everybody that knows about hair and says that you should brush from the bottom up like do this and then just slowly work your way up is probably cringing at me doing this. Get the back of it. Um, I showered yesterday and I le I use the leave-in conditioner and um I do I do my hair a certain way like I have two conditioners that I have to use otherwise my hair gets really really coarse and it literally stays straight and will not move like if I shake my head you see how bouncy that piece is. It will not do that. It'll be like this. It would not move. So, um, it's mainly up here though, because all my oil settles up there. Because if it doesn't really have anywhere else to go, um, someone is blaring music. I think it's over. Okay. But, um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. But yeah, um, yeah. Whatever I was saying, I don't think I finished it, but whatever. There's motorcycle gangs. <laughs> but, I don't really do complicated stuff 
with my hair. I just kind of try to work with what I can. Oh yeah, um, my phone and my head, my phone and my headboard match. These are both stickers from the Kentucky Horse Park. Um, and I will be doing a barn tour video because Dream On Maz is has requested that. She's one of my new subscribers. If you want to go check her out, um, I got a lot of new subscribers recently, and I'm really happy about that. Um, and my channel's actually growing faster than I thought it would because I don't really think I make that great videos. But I am going to make a barn tour soon. I have two barns, so that's kind of difficult. Um, I'll probably film my Florida one. You can stand in the entryway and see the entire barn. That's, that's the barn tour. There you go. Um, we have like 16 horses, but whatever. Um, back to hair. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was talking about that. So, I have to put, like, girls probably know what I'm talking about. You know the little tub conditioner things, like, by, it's not L'Oreal. I don't use L'Oreal. I hate L'Oreal. Um, I think it's, like, Garnier, I think. The Garnier Fructis conditioner. And I just put it on my fingers, and then I work it into right here, like this area, and then the back. And then I'll take, like, the Aussie, and I'm not endorsing any of these people, trust me. Um, then I'll take all my hair after I put it. I leave that stuff in, and then take all my hair, and I, like, put it in the shafts, which would be this part. And it just leaves it really, really conditioned and smooth and easy to work with. But I have really, really thin hair, if you haven't noticed. Um, I don't really care about the care. I don't like the care. Because it's just hot in the summertime, and I'm outside a lot. And I live in Florida. So, well, not right now, but I live in Florida. The majority of the year. Like, seven months out of the year. Even more than that, probably. Probably like 10 months out of the year. But, yeah. And then I'll leave it in for a couple minutes, and then, like, I'll leave it in, and then I'll get everything else done that I need to do in the shower, and then I'll rinse it out. And I'll, like, really get it out. Like, I will work that stuff out. Like, I will run my hands through my hair like that until it is all the way worked out, and I can just run my hands through my hair like this really shouldn't have done that because it just messed it up. Um, but you know what? It was a demonstration, so it was worth it. You guys are worth it. No, no, ah. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's how I part my hair. My hair chooses its own part, really. So, it took me eight minutes to brush up my hair because I was talking, but whatever. In my rodeo morning routine, I think it was, I did my bun, and it was like, well, yeah, sort of. It wasn't really like that, but if you guys want to go check that out, I think it's in like the very so like beginning, I think it was like the first two minutes. I show you the bun on the back of my head, and I think it looked pretty good. But I wear that when I'm writing English, mainly, because I can, like, stuff it up in my helmet, and it is actually quite comfortable, because it takes a lot of pressure off the front, because it likes to slide back. Whatever. So what I do, and you, you hair people are probably going to cringe at this, because I twist my hair. I take my hair, and I twist it like this. Like, you know, like when you're little, you're like twisting your hair all the time. Take it, and I keep twisting it until it buns. And then I put my hand on that. See, this is why I wish I had a camera again, if Dixie wouldn't step. And then I make it like a bun on itself like that. I'm not positive you guys can see that. <laughs> I feel ridiculous doing this. But I hope you guys can see that. And then I put my hand on top of it, like I cup it. And then 
You always want to have your rubber band on your wrist, like I do. Then you, I just slip it down off my hand, and then I just tie it up. It normally stays, and then it stays. That's what it looks like. Okay, you guys can see that. That side, see it's more off to this side, but I can change sides. And I can make it higher, lower, I can do whatever I want with it. But, that's just how I want it right. And I always put it right there, that way if like our hair falls out, it like gets caught. And it doesn't really do anything. And to take it out, you just grab the top one and pull. And then, it'll like fall. Like this, it'll do that. And then you just pull it out. That's what I do. Oh, and then it gives your hair a really nice curl. <laughs> it really doesn't though, because it just kind of shakes out. But the second hairstyle I do is just like a simple braid. But I kind of do my braids differently. Kind of. Make sure my hair isn't sticking out like that. Because you guys could probably hear that not getting ripped out of my head. Um, yeah, so I just, normally I would like do like the fishtail on top and then have like the regular braid in the back, but I might do that in a different video because I did that in the Kentucky Horse Park on the little fake tail that you can braid and I got a lot of compliments on that and they asked me how I did it and I said that's how I do my hair, so yeah, and basically what you're doing is you're just taking from the top instead of the side. It's like you're braiding a tail, but you take from the top and then you just fishtail it. It's pretty easy. Um, and then from what's left over behind, you shouldn't really have that much. Um, I'll like end the fishtail right here. And I'll just braid it like regularly down. It's pretty simple. Um, I might do that in a different video. Um, it took me a while to learn how to fish tail, but you know what? I learned. And then I just kind of try to separate it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't really care if it's even or not. I just want it to to be somewhat even. Oh yeah, that top looks so good. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I'm addicted to wearing this sweatshirt. It's my middle school sweatshirt. Going into middle school this year. Because I'm 11. And then, I'll stop. I'll leave a little bit because it, my, hair is kind of, my hair doesn't have layers. But I have to cut my hair to get like a lot of knots out of it sometimes. Because some knots just are too small to work out. And then, I have learned speed at time because my hair likes to come undone, which you will see in like 30 seconds, maybe. Um, you can see it doesn't really care. It just kind of stinks, but the top doesn't look that good. Yeah, this is how my hair is. My hair is. This is how I braid my horse's hair, too. I, like, I'll braid it like, every single time I ride because it gets caught in my reins, it gets caught in her bridle, even with the bridle path. Um, it gets caught under the saddle and she rears. And she just throws a big hissy fit because it's tugging on her mane and it's just not fun. Because how would you like it if someone was like this to you all the time? And, then the, and they were sitting on you. Yeah, it's not fun. So I don't want to treat my horse like that, so I don't. And I like do a running braid or I do one of these and I'll just like bring it like that. Or I'll do a diamond. You never know. Um, If you guys want me to make a video on that, I can probably won't be very good quality because we don't have lights in my barn because it's an outdoor barn <laughs> and all the light comes from all the openings because all of our horses have like little paddocks that they can go into whenever they want to um it's fun to muck those not not the draft horse though. but yeah you'll see how easy my hair comes out of a braid so you just watch I didn't even pull it hard, I just went like this. But yeah, that's how I do my hair. And normally, I'll just leave this down. Um, yeah, I cut a lot out of this video. So, if you see me, like, jerking a lot, um, I wouldn't be surprised. 
Um, I'm probably going to put bloopers at the end of this video because some of those are pretty hilarious. Um, and before I, I kind of had one side of my hair teased and then the other side brushed out beautiful. Um, and that's in the bloopers. I think my bloopers are like a minute, 15 seconds to warm me. You will see them at the end of this video, probably right around now. <laughs> there is an airplane flying. Yeah. I wonder if you guys can hear that. It's pretty loud. <sighs> I gotta brush this mess. Guess which side I sleep on. First one to get it right wins it. Here's a hint, it's not this side. Ooh. It comes out pretty easy though. Wow! Mmm, it's under here too. No one screenshot that. If you screenshot that, I'll be mad. that thing's loud. Can you guys hear that? I hope you can't because it's loud and annoying. Either way, I don't, I don't really care. We'll probably edit this out. We'll put it in bloopers. What do you know?